the Pan Asia consultation meeting. So we have participants from Caucasus, Central Asia, South Asia, and Southeast Asia. And we also joined by our uh, colleagues from uh, Stockholm, from Sweden, from WTO. Also, uh, uh, our participants from Japan and Korea and from other uh, countries. So the question is, what action should we take to avoid the twin catastrophe of disasters and COVID-19? One answer is this plain truth to address water-related disaster risk reduction under the COVID-19 to teach. This principle is an action-oriented guideline which was created with participants from the 23 uh, international institutions, the UN and country. And this is to support leaders, officials and stakeholders and citizens to better prepare and cope with water-related disaster under the pandemic. This is in a simple format of uh, practical and on-target bullet points which are ready for immediate use in country and fields. And this is applicable to other disasters also, it has a focus on water-related disasters. This two scenario is very, very important to consider to all of us that uh, natural disasters or hydrometeorological disasters have been there and it will remain there. Climate change issues would be aggravating these disasters and it will intensify much more disaster in the times to come. So this is one reality. The second reality what we are facing is COVID-19. So we are into the new normal situation. And in this situation, in the entire South Asia, if you are looking at, then we will find that Bangladesh and uh, uh, Nepal, India is currently facing the flood situation. So in this new normal situation, how the disaster response has to be built, how the disaster uh, uh, relief management has to be done, how this uh, long-term recovery and reconstruction has to be defined. But people are the same. Uh, what we are saying is that the disaster responders how they will manage their resources. I, I like uh, Dr. Kenjo Hiroki, 10 principles. I am agreeing most of the uh, principles what he has suggested, which was also coming to my mind. We reconstructed our fever clinic to make the visit more convenient and safer. Fever clinic should be located in an independent area with three zones and three passages inside including a contaminated zone, a, a potentially contaminated zone, and a clean zone, and also independent passages for medical staffs, patients. Key challenges we face when we are talking about the uh, disaster-related uh, uh, risk reduction as well as the COVID-19 from a community perspective. One of the key things based on our experience is the uh, assessment to the latest and relevant information including uh, rainfall data, water level, uh, and also the COVID. In our globalized world, this can lead to massive disruptions in our supply chain, and also for the need for companies to re-establish these. These changes in supply leads can lead to business moving away to higher water risk areas, for example, and we need to understand those implications better. Companies also need to be able to reimagine and redesign quickly to this changing environment and on the direct impacts in their business or sector. Reports from sustainable business and industry sectors, for example, published by the World Business Council for Sustainable Development, are showing the resilience and ability of sustainability minded businesses to adapt, along with high levels of community care and stakeholder trust. Today we had a very successful consultation workshop. Uh, this was uh, for Asian 
you know, institutions, organizations, and individuals. And summary of this workshop will be distributed as soon as possible. And from tomorrow, there will be a additional translation of the principles in local languages. We have the Indonesian language version together with Japanese and Chinese, uh, in addition to French and uh, English and Spanish. So if you are confident enough to make use of these principles, just let the Secretary of Health to know uh, you are uh, you know, willing to make use of these principles in the local language. And I really hope that this exchange at the Japan Asia level could continue because I, I feel, as you have seen, there was a lot of lively discussion and I'm sure you have learned a lot of different perspectives.